for 2018, Honda aimed to hone the Fit's chassis to coil bobbing, reduce noise levels, enhance the steering's linearity, and elevate its overall sense of nimbleness. Honda added structural braces around and under the body, swapped the shell-style steering pinion bearing for a solid one, and installed retuned dampers. It also used thicker acoustic materials inside the doors, wheel arches, and pillars, while new layers of soundproofing materials pad the dashboard and the floor. To reduce wind noise, the new Fit gets an acoustically insulating windshield and thicker front quarter windows. Remarkably, despite these refinements, weight is essentially a wash between the new and old cars, according to Honda. Without a pre-refresh fit on hand for comparison, it's hard to measure the extent to which Honda achieved its ambitions. We can say, however, that the 2018 Fit XL we drove felt focused and planted as we swept along the Santa Clarita Valley's rolling two-laners. As we hurled the fit into tight corners, its body stayed calm and the 185-55R16 all-season Firestone FR740 tires generally remained glued to the pavement before gently breaking away into predictable understeer at the limit. Little additional steering feel seems to have resulted from the updates, unfortunately, yet the fit traced our intended line with utter precision. All the while, it rode with suppleness and composure, more like a Civic sedan than a stubby hatchback. We didn't need any measuring devices to deem the additional cabin insulation a success. While the quietness somewhat clarifies the bleeding 1.5-liter inline-4s engine note, still not our favorite sound, especially as it moans when working with the optional continuously variable automatic transmission CVT, its lower overall volume no longer deters drivers from revving it all the way to its 6800 RPM redline. That's a good thing indeed, considering one must hit 6600 RPMs before all of the powertrain's 128 or 130 horses, depending on transmission, show up.